Hi everybody and welcome to Built Not Bought Campers. We're back on another day on the bus. Anyway, last week's video, the big strip, I was beat totally beat down by this Formica stuff. It's been driving me mad. Do you know, I even had a sleepless night over it. So I've decided not to let it beat me, come up with another solution to the problem. For every problem, there's a solution, so I've been told. So my solution for the problem on this today happens to be this, my multi-tool. That's gonna get the black stuff off, the Formica off, that will hopefully get it off, as I said. I'm not gonna say it will, I hopefully will. And then, it should leave me clear to attack these rails. They're all unbolted, but we're gonna to have to go at that with the angle grinder. Anyway, I'm not gonna waffle on, Let's see how we do getting this stuff off. By the way, excuse the big light reflection in the window there. I need to get more light in here so I've used my filmmaking lights. It's actually working a treat. If in doubt, give it a good clout, they say. <laughs> Power might help. I say that is a success. For that bit anyway, we've just got the rest of it to do. The blade on this is a little bit blunt, so I might have to change the blade in a minute. We will see. fell out that's obviously telling me it needs a new blade either that or I didn't tighten up properly which is more to the point really it's thirsty work this I know Costa is not paying for this or it's not a paid promotion by Costa I wish it was Just to show you how good it works, I'm going to take you over there and have a look for yourself. There you go, that bit there.
a graft. But he weren't going to beat me. So there you have it. That's all the full mica strip from the top there. Take a look at how these bars are fitted. They've welded in angle irons either side of these pillars. Not that one. They have there, and they have there, and they have up there, and the M1. I suppose to pass for a bus safety inspection, these need to be really secure. So bolted and reinforced, supported, glued, screwed, bolted, welded. So these are the welds. We're gonna cut these with an angle iron, go all the way along these ones, all there, down this side, crowbar it, and see what they've welded underneath. We'll have a look under there as well. Welds probably there, there. So cutting those bars off with the angle grinder, we might go through a few discs. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a go because like I said at the beginning of this video, I don't like being beat. And this had beaten me up till today. And I came back with a vengeance. And some more tools, of course. The vengeance bit is just the backup for the tools. Anyway, let's get some more big boy toys out and see if we can get these bars off. So, not one, but two. Right. I've managed to move the bar. There's a nice gap between that. It's a lot of grinding. That one I'm struggling to get to, so I might have to use the little disc grinder I've got. But, when we say where, safety equipment at all times, one of the biggest reasons, especially with disc cutters, breakages of discs and bits flying off. Luckily, the guard was on the angle grinder. I was wearing gloves, had the mask on, had the goggles on. So, safety is so important when grinding well, any tool, it is so important. Guys. 
Well, as you saw for yourself, that was a nightmare. But I'll tell you something, for now, I'm done for the day and going home. That's really, really necking me. And I need a new pair of trousers. I kind of ripped these ones a little bit. Oops, never mind. Well, these sidebars for these seats are causing a real, real problem. I got the top one off, as you saw, but I've now got the bottom one off. The only problem is, I had to cut it down into sections to actually get it off the wall. And as a result, I'm using the big angle grinder. As you will see when I attack this side. And this bit, oh, that bottom one, because you can't get underneath to get the angle grinder to grind the welds off, we're struggling. So, it's coming off in sections and I'm having to rip the welds off at the bottom in small bits. Hopefully you'll see that in a little while. Three out of four. Again, that last one's gonna be a real, yeah, I won't say it. So, I know last week's video said this had beaten me. Yeah, not quite. You know, anything like this is a bit of a challenge, let's face it. But when they're out, we've got a lot more weight to play with, putting things like bedding, water tanks, batteries even, but, Anyway, I'm calling it a day for there for now, because again, I'm shattered. Hey everybody and welcome to a new day here on the bus. As you saw in the last part of the last video, we have one more bar to remove from this bus. I wasn't going to actually show you the, the full process, but you've had three of them, or seen two of them come out, but you've not seen the bottom bar come out yet. Whew. Do you know, I'm shattered just looking at it. I know I said this the other day, but it's really important when you're using these angle grinders or anything like that creating sparks or any tools that are really dangerous, in fact all tools, wear your gloves, wear your dust mask. And I bought the face shield today, because um, the sparks literally fly everywhere. And although I had my glasses on in the last couple of videos, even sparks got behind them, so I thought it'd be better if I tried this. Anyway, like I said to you, on that last one with the bottom bar, because I can't get to the welds, I'll let me just show you. As I was explaining, I can't get to the welds under here with the angle grinder because this steps in the way. 
this little bit of a step on the walls in the way. I'll get to the top ones absolutely fine. So what I'm having to do is cut, cut this bar into small sections, cut the top welds off and get an angle, um, get a crowbar behind it and force it down, loosen the welds and break them off. It's the only way I can do it. There's a quick description of what I'm gonna do. I think it's best to show you. Well that's two pieces of it out. I've got one more piece now left to do. Thank God this is the last piece. Well, there you have it, everyone. The bus is finally stripped. And it's definitely had blood. It's had plenty of sweat. No tears. A pair of ripped trousers. A lot of angle grinding discs, nine inch and the small ones. Plenty of the multi-tool blades. Anyway, um, just remember that when using those sort of tools or any sort of tools that are dangerous please wear your safety gear i think i explained that through the video it's taken a few days to get this out um and if you're going to take on a bus like this it's not something you should be taking on lightly all i can say is um this is where the fun begins now and 
and this is the stage that I'm really looking forward to. It always is the fun part building. Uh, when we had a certain person in here the other day working on his van with him, I think it's one of the comments we made, we enjoy the build. This part can get a bit tedious, especially with a project as big as this, or the one we got beside us over there, the big horse box. But it's all good fun. It's all a learning curve. It's um, a challenge. It, you know, someone said character building once. Um, yeah, I totally get that one as well. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. Please, please give me the thumbs up and leave your comments in the description below. And if any of you would have done this in a different way, let me know. Um, I'd love to know what you think. Um, I know on the comments last week's video, and um, there's somebody else that's got a video, Custer's um, one of my subscribers, and he's having trouble, or was having trouble, getting out the full mica just like I was. Um, but on one of these I battle on, I will try different methods and the multi-tool worked. Um, hopefully I'll get a comment off of you soon. Please let me know how you're getting on. I'd love to see, I'd love to, I would love to see it actually. Um, and I'd love to know how you got on taking out yours. But again, the bars were absolute, oh, I don't even, I'm not even gonna go there how much they weigh. But it's given us plenty now to play with when it comes to building. But all I'm doing is waffling. All I want you to do is stay safe, have fun, enjoy your builds. And if you've got any questions, any comments, leave them below. And please, please, please um, subscribe. I've noticed there's a lot of people watching my videos but not subscribing. Um, believe me, we've got loads coming up. And this week, we are going to get a new project. So yes, if we haven't got enough to do already, we've got something else to do. I look forward to seeing you all next week and that's it for this week and bye for now.